A hundred years ago, this pleasant-looking building was a focal point for opposition to war, and David Robson's ancestors were at the centre of it. So at least eight Robsons, who were all, all, all Quakers, mm -hmm. just here? Yes. Many of them are remembered here now, pacifists from the Quaker religious movement stretching back generations, but with a philosophy that still persists. It was an important thing to have done, and I'm very pleased to be part of the Quaker, uh, be a Quaker who is following in that tradition. And uh, I owe what other people ahead of me um, started. The men who refused to fight, the Quaker community which helped them persuade military tribunals of their case, are just a part of what's now emerging as a much larger opposition to the war than had previously been recognised. Huddersfield was a thriving mill town at the turn of the 20th century, but the crushing poverty here politicised many people. The story persists that the war was universally supported. It wasn't here. From the start of the Industrial Revolution, this part of the north of England had been a place of protest protest against the excesses of mill owners and a lack of workers' rights. And so by the time 1914 arrived, there was already a sizable body of opinion here prepared to make a direct equation between the excesses of capitalism at home and the reasons for war. This nearby village looks as peaceful as can be, but in 1907 the streets looked like this. Hundreds of socialists railing against British imperialism. Alan's great-grandfather felt men were being sacrificed by the million in a capitalist war for trade. For that, he ended up doing hard labour. Their argument was that it was an imperialist war. It was all about carving up Africa and Asia in the interest of the then superpowers. And it wasn't in any way in the interest of only working class people. This historian has compiled the most complete database of all the men who refused to fight as conscripts. Not only is it thousands more than had previously been thought, it doesn't include those who hid the men from the authorities. Their mums, their daughters, their families, uh, uh, their mothers and fathers too. And we're dealing with a movement here which is beyond just individual conscience objectors, a movement which in certain parts of the world uh, begins to reflect or actually grows from a local, radical community which took its own view on the war. Jail and accusations of cowardice always threatened those who wouldn't follow the line that it was a patriotic duty to fight. Others would see it as treachery, but here they regarded it as a source of heroism. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Huddersfield.